This indeed captures the difficulty well. Finally, someone points out that I'm not a string theorist and they lived happily ever after the end. So why am I telling you this? Well, for one, I want to belatedly thank those commenters for taking the time to sort this out. But also, I've been thinking about this episode quite a bit and wondered what went wrong there. I believe the problem is that when we write about quantum mechanics, we're faced with the task of converting mathematical expressions into language. And regardless of which language we use, English, German, Chinese or whatever, our language didn't evolve to describe quantum behavior. So all the words that we can come up with will be wrong and will be misleading. There's no way to get it right. What's a superposition? A superposition is a sum of vectors in a Hilbert space. All right. But if one of the vectors is a particle going left and the other a particle going right, what does this superposition mean? I don't know. Could you say it's a particle going into both directions? I guess you could say that. I mean, you just said it, so arguably you can. But is that what it actually is? I don't think so. For one, it'd be more accurate to say that the wave function describes a particle instead of saying that it is a particle. But maybe more importantly, I don't think such a superposition is anything in the space we inhabit. It's a vector in this mathematical structure we call the Hilbert space. And what does that mean? I don't know. I don't think there are any words in our language to explain what it means. I still think that the explanation that I gave for a quantum bit was more truthful to the mathematics than the more commonly used phrase that it can be in two states at once. But I also think we have to accept that, regardless of what language we use to describe quantum mechanics, it will never be correct. 